Hi everybody, it's me Rachel, it's Tim and today for and in this video it's gonna be something pretty cool. Um I will show you how to actually knit with pins. So I will show you what to do in this tutorial. So what you will need is two pins. Um the ones I am using are the big pins. These are like the dollar ones you get from Dollar Tree, like a big pack. The ones that have a lid, lid, a lid like this. But then, you can have, if you have paper made pins, use those too. But I suggest using pins that are the exact same. Because if you use pins, say for example, the paper made pin here, I think they're a different size. And the thickness is completely different than the thickness of the um, I think this are the big pins right here. These like the classic generic ones. So what you will need to do is take the cap off, use whatever yarn you like. Now with this, I have three different yarns I'm going to be testing out. The first one is a Red Heart yarn, four, number four yarn. It's the medium weight yarn, like the ones we always use which is my personal favorite yarn and when I do my knitting and crochet and looming. The next one is a little baby yarn. It's I don't know what brand this is. It's either Vernet or another brand. Um this is like the baby yarn. I've used something similar like this in the past. Um this is really a thin a thinner yarn. And then another one is Another similar baby yarn, but it's a little bit more thicker than the first baby yarn. But it's really, really soft. So, I'm going to show you what to do first. So, turn the camera around and show, show you what to do next. So, what you will do first is take one of your pins. Um, and the yarn I'm going to start out with is the Red Heart yarn. And I will first make a slip stitch. Here. Regular slip stitch. Like I always do. When I crochet it, it's too, too big. Um, so. Let's see. There we go, that works. Put it on the pin. And then what we will do next is, again, we want to make another, take your finger, and make a loop, like that. This is called casting on. Do this as many times as you like. So let's keep doing this. Do a little more slower so you can see. Here. So I'm just going to do this here. Really quick. Now you can go all the way down here. Or however you want to do this. Which I will. There we go. I'm getting it. Do this until you reach your desired amount of stitches. And I'll show you what to do next. Alright, so now that you have have um, cast it on all your yarn here, um, I'm going to take my second um my second um, pen, which I'll be using as a hook. Let's this up a little bit more here. I'm going to do this here. And just like how you were to knit, like this.
do the second phrase lower. Just do the basic knit stitch. As if you had knitting needles. And the pin is acting as a set of knitting needles versus instead of having knitting needles, you have pins. Just a little bit closer here. A little bit slower here too. Just do the basic knit stitch. That's all I know on this. I personally just loom knit here. Um, so this is like I trade regular knitting here. So, so if you are in a situation where like, oh, I'm on an airplane. I can't bring my knitting needles, or, oh, I lost my knitting needles, what do I do? Don't know where they are. Then you can use a set of, use two pins as knitting needles. Now, one thing I suggest to you here is, with the pins as knitting needles, I suggest waiting until your pins are empty, so when there's no more ink in them. Because I'm getting some ink on my hands. But that's okay. Um, ink is ink. I can wash my hands after I'm done with this. But I really suggest when your pens are empty of no ink. Or all out of ink. Then it would be a good time to um, use them as any needles. How I came out with this, like, oh, this would be fun to do. Because I don't have knee needles, and I thought it would be fun to do and try. So I did it. It's really fun. I want to show you guys. So I, I really like this idea. It's a lot of fun. It's different than what I've seen. Like, oh, let's try this. I mean, I don't, haven't seen people knit with pins at all. I mean, I've... You maybe try chopsticks as well, too, because they're... They're pointy, um, but I think chopsticks is another way to use them as knitting needles as well, I believe, too, as well. I know you can use, um, anything that's pointy like this. Let's see. As you can see, my hands or fingers are getting ink on them, but I will show you what to do next after I knit my first row. Alright you guys, so that you had completed your first row of knitting, um, what you will do next is take your yarn or your knitting needles and switch hands because we're going to be doing this again. Same way you did, but switching um, the pins. I feel like how I did before, but with the other pin. And as you can see, that with the second row that we're knitting, it is a little bit more tighter. And that is what we want it to do.
and as you knit, you might get a little bit more faster at it. If you've been knitting for a while. And if not, that's this is your first time learning how to knit. Cool. Now, as far as projects go, um, this would be something for like a little itty bitty project. Like if you had American Girl dolls and you can make scarves for them, you can make a little dishcloth. Um, but as far as big pieces, um, that this wouldn't be. I mean, you can make it work. Like, if you wanted to make a doll scarf, you cannot do that. But as far as um, a big project, I don't know if that would work. Because, I don't know. I don't knit this way. I just... I personally just loom knit. And if you know how to knit like a pro, awesome. Oh. I mean, you can try it. Try and make something else that's bigger on this. Try it. It'd be so cool to see if if you can on I know people's made bigger items on a big project with small needles. I've seen it. See it online all the time. So this is how you knit, I guess. Let's see. So I'm just gonna keep on knitting here. And Show you what to do next. Or, yeah, it's okay. All right, you guys, so, um, something happened off camera. Um, somehow the, the stitches I was doing were coming unraveled from my from the pins so I had to unwind it but you get the idea on it um, keep knitting until you reach your desired length of what you want to do this is just a gives you a basic idea of what to do so um, as far as the knit stitch go wild but um, what yarn the yarn I'm going to show you next is a baby yarn here. 